Ah, the sweet smell of NFL trades. Like a kid in a candy store, the Kansas City Chiefs just snagged Josh Uchi from the Patriots. It's like the dinner bell just rang and everyone is racing to the buffet. You know, because who doesn't want another ferocious pass rusher? The Chiefs defense just became a bit spicier. A dash of Uche to sprinkle over those uh-oh moments for the quarterbacks? Yes, please. The Patriots, bless their hearts, were apparently hiding Josh Uche under a do not disturb sign. Meanwhile, the Chiefs were all like, excuse me, is that a talented pass rusher? Let's open this door and snag him. It's like walking into a party where everyone is just stuck in the corner, sipping on punch, while the Chiefs are turning the volume up to 11. Watch out, QBs, you're about to have company. Now, Uche isn't just any guy. He's not just someone you find lying under the couch cushions. He's been busy terrorizing opposing offenses like a cat with a laser pointer. So just imagine all that chaos wrapped up in a Chiefs uniform. Talk about a potential Super Bowl cocktail mix that'll leave you dizzy. I mean, how many sacks can one team collect? At this rate, they might start renting storage space for all those trophies. We all know Andy Reid loves a good defense. It's like his secret sauce for winning games. And now he's whipping up a spicy new recipe with Uche. Passing game, sure, but let's spice it up with some relentless rush. Who knew defensive players could be the bell of the ball? Sorry, offensive players, but Uche just crashed the party with a sparkler and a sack solo. Move aside. Uche's arrival in Kansas City can only mean one thing for the Chiefs. A lot of happy faces and probably more than a few Uche Uche Uche's chants resounding throughout Arrowhead. I mean, come on, how fun is that to yell during a game? This could be the beginning of something beautiful or hilariously chaotic. Either way, fans are about to live the Uche experience and I can't wait for the drama. With Uche joining the fray, everyone and their uncle knows that opposing quarterbacks are about to have some serious sleepless nights. Can you picture it? The poor quarterbacks, tossing and turning, dreaming of escape routes that won't end up with them face first in the grass. Honestly, passing the ball is going to feel like playing hide and seek with a toddler who has way too much energy. Good luck out there. So, with all this adding and switching and trading nonsense, are we witnessing the birth of a new dynasty or just a group of players trying to throw together an impromptu band? Will they harmonize seamlessly? Or are we about to witness a classic case of who hit the wrong note? What do you think? Is it going to be a championship serenade or just chaotic karaoke? Your thoughts? Like and subscribe, please.